What is Make up, ladies and gents, dudes, dudettes, lads, lassies, Big J here. I know you're probably used to seeing me on GTA Online, but, you know, the last couple weeks I've watched the new Hellraiser flick twice, I've watched Halloween Ends twice, I've watched Terrifier twice yesterday, and you know it is October, so I decided I'm going to get back into playing some type of horror game, and I have Friday the 13th. Uh, this is level 2, Power Struggle. Uh, basically for this first one, you want to just walk right up to the shed, stand here, and uh, to check the objectives, you can just hold the up button, and the objectives will pop up. <laughs> and have now, uh, dark. You want to just wait diggy. here till he walks <laughs> in, man. and then you're going to follow him in there, press X. Also, if you want to catch someone in a trap, all you have to do is press down, drop the trap. Fry yourself. But I'm gonna walk in and press X. And this gets the special kill. That one there is called. That's my special. Shock and special revelations. Story. Now for this next one, you just walk up to the door basically and you Mitch, want to wait till she's not looking at you. You can basically hide right here. X, open the door, walk right up behind her, press X. Ah I got she was about to run too. Now this is only the second time I've ever played this game in my life. The first time was about two, three years ago, I think, and I just did not get into it. I wasn't in the mood, but I'm definitely in the mood Hunt this time. I've been playing play. for a couple hours, which is definitely longer than the first playthrough. I lasted maybe 20 minutes. Now for this one, you want to open this door and just wait. You sit here quietly, wait patiently until Chad walks up to the fireplace and what you're gonna do when Chad gets up to the fireplace is you're gonna walk up behind him you're gonna press L2 to grab him and then walk up to the fireplace and then press X and you will also get a trophy for that called cooking with Jason I think Now, also, I think I showed you, yeah, just a minute ago, to lay a trap, basically, where you get that first electrocution kill. Now, you you can't get all the objectives in one playthrough, basically, because it's just impossible to kill them every special way and lay a trap on them. Uh, but after your first playthrough, once you kill him and electrocute him, during the second playthrough, when he walks into that building, lay the trap right there out front of the door, like I said. And when he walks out, he will walk Let's into the trap. See what's up. And that will get you the... Yeah, no, basically just wait till he leans down. Walk right up on him and press L2. And then you walk up to the fireplace, press X. And that gives you the objective. Now they for this one. They deserve to die, Jason. Make them suffer. You want to follow her out to the barn, basically. Same objective. Uh, grab, grab her with the L2 button. You see she's going out there. And once you have her in your grips, your grasp, you walk over to the hanging rope and press X. I think last time I did this I spooked her, but I still got her anyway. Kind of try to stay on the outside. What the hell is she doing? <laughs> Just grab her. Walk over to this hanging rope. 
press X. That gives you the special, the hidden objective. So the hidden objective is called Sweet Revenge because this is what they did to Jason in the movie. Don't stop and Jason. there you go, there's a quick walkthrough of your basics. Die. Make them suffer like we did. I'm out. Uh, depending on the view count and if anybody actually cares, I might do walkthroughs for more of these. This Make is my first night proud, playing. Jason. Don't uh, second let night, them technically. Escape. But it's been years. And I got one left. Complete the entire mission without using the shift ability. I don't think I used the shift ability, so I don't know why I got that. But I am out.